All right, uh, Splash, Roxanne, and Steel Magnolias are just some of our first guest hit movies. On October 10th, her new movie, Kill Bill, Volume 1, hits theaters. Please welcome the wonderful Daryl Hannah. Hey, Daryl. See, they're, they're responding like this because nobody ever sees you. You never do shows like this. No, I'm a, I'm a recluse. Yeah, well, uh, I, and I appreciate you doing this because you really don't do a lot of shows. So, no, so no. thank you for being here. Thank you. The, um, should I ask, I just, I just found out we had to wait a few minutes. Your, your mic fell in the toilet? Yes, it did. <laughs> I've had that happen before. You forgot that it was clipped to the back of your pants? And it, it, no, it fell in the toilet before I peed, so it was okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it should be fine. Look yeah. to the back of your pants now. That water is so clean in there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a drink from it before I came. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, you, you, you really are a recluse. You really don't know that you shouldn't be drinking from the toilet. Really? Because you don't, you really do. I don't know if people know this. I just found this out about you because we've only seen each other kind of in passing and yeah. saying hello. You, you live uh, in a teepee? No. Oh. I lived, I, I did live in a teepee for a while, but now the, my, my teepees are just sort of my guest room. How long did you live in a teepee? For two years. Did you have running water and stuff, or? Um, I have a spring, but it's not inside the teepee. It was outside. Well, where did you pee pee in the teepee? <laughs> Really, and, so, and you, you really do uh, care about the environment. You're, you're mm. a huge activist. I, well, I don't, I don't want to put your words in your mouth, mm. but you drive a car that runs on vegetable oil. Yeah, <laughs> recycled French fry grease from fast food restaurants. <laughs> but, The, the interesting thing about it is that there's billions of gallons dumped every year and they pay people to take it away and take it to dumps and Rudolf Diesel built the diesel engine to run on peanut oil so any diesel engine can still run on vegetable oil and so it's not carcinogenic, doesn't cause greenhouse gases or cancer and, wow. um, and it smells good and... Uh, I, I had no idea. I'm, when I was in, in high school, I, I ran on uh, French fry oil also. <laughs> <laughs> But Me I too. Didn't, I didn't. So, do you just drive through the window and say, "Fill her up"? Do they uh, just? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, but they they pay you to take it away. Really? So you get paid? Mm -hmm. And what what kind of car is it? It's I, I have a truck and an international scout. Wow. Well, that's good yeah, to know yeah. that you can run yeah, on any any diesel car. I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. You're you're filled with information. Yes. And, and However, I, I, I did fail the Rorschach test that I had to take as a kid miserably. Well, those <laughs> things are. I mean, even when I was looking at it earlier, and you have to say the first thing that that comes to mind. Yeah. You know, they're hard. They they. I think they said that I had to be institutionalized after I took my Rorschach test. <laughs> no wonder you went to live in a TP. That's that's uh, <laughs> that's that's tragic. Is you're supposed to give like what is this butterfly? What is this? Right. You know? I didn't see a butterfly on any of those things. No, no. I didn't see any. I mean, they just looked like thongs to me, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> to me, they all looked like this is a lion who's gone into a cave because he was fishing and he found a shoe that he lost weeks before. I told huge stories, <laughs> loud stories, and, and that's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> well, I don't know why they would have said you had to be institutionalized. <laughs> No, that shows that you're creative. That's the thing. It's like well, you you're know, a kid. You know? Yes, you should be imaginative as a kid. You should be imaginative now. So you, mm -hmm. uh, I really do appreciate you being here because oh, because you. I res you you do very few films. I mean, we remember you from Splash, and you've done some some great. I mean, that that was a you you were a mermaid. You know, yeah. not too many people can do that. Um, <laughs> Uh, quickly uh, about the Kill Bill. It's it's volume one and volume two. It yeah. comes out in October. It's Quentin Tarantino's new yes. movie. It's his fourth movie. Mm -hmm. And what do you play? I play a, a one-eyed samurai assassin. <laughs> and and it, it was originally conceived as one film, but the script was so extensive. It's his magnum opus. So I actually ended up being in most of my stuff in part two, but I am in both. But I'm just like pure evil. <laughs> Is that fun to play? 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I bet it is. And you had yeah. to learn martial arts and everything? Yeah, I, I studied for months and months in China and, and here with the guys who did Matrix and Crouching Tiger for all my kung fu. And then I trained with Sonny Chiba, who's made 148 samurai films to learn all the samurai sword stuff. And really? You did sword stuff too? Everything, I saw yeah. I saw the trailer for it. It looks really cool. Yeah. Um, it, do you want to try to, I don't know why I'm asking this. I don't know why I, I continue to try to hurt myself. But Do you, <laughs> you want to try to show me a martial arts kick? Because... I'd like to learn. Can you do it right here? Oh, you want to do it right there? You do it right there. Okay, but I don't. I don't well, look at those shoes. Well, I'll take them off. All right, yeah, take your shoes um, off. But here, here's the thing. Those are great pants. I, I, I haven't continued my workout because after I did my stunts in the movie, I'd eat a Krispy Kreme every time, so I kind of like. Uh, oh yeah, I'm you really need anymore. to take care of yourself. <laughs> But, All right, go ahead. But it, this is not an actual, like, a, a, you know, a tiger style or crane or, you know, but this is just a training kick. This okay. isn't an actual kick you would fight with. But the object of training is you go across the room, both legs, and you try to keep your upper body completely straight. The, you take careful. your leg in a circle and try to yeah, kick your hand without off, moving. I know. I don't want you to fall. No, I'm All good. Because right. I'm not moving that foot other than to go. Okay, so you basically you bring this leg around uh -huh. the front and try to slap your hand as hard as you can. Okay. With it, right, without moving this leg. Right. Going, you know, okay. Like that. <laughs> All right. So you want to. So but yeah, but I be, haven't like, stretched today. You're kick your eyeball. <laughs> no, I haven't done yoga in a while. All right. Wow, I really seriously have, I don't know why I'm doing this. 